Mr. Secretary, thank you for being here and presenting uh, your budget request, which I strongly support. Dr. Freedy did more for America than any other foreigner in the last 200 years. Yet he remains in jail in Pakistan. All Americans are dedicated to his release, but some not dedicated enough to agree with Pakistan for a, a Freedy Siddiqui trade. And I would hope that you would urge the administration to make such a trade. I'm confident the Pakistanis would accept it. Obviously, the Pakistanis should release him without conditions. But no, it's very hard to ask any other non-American to cooperate with the United States when the person who did the most for us remains in jail. I hope you would also uh, direct the uh, U.S. Ambassador to Albania to visit Camp Ashraf and, de and demonstrate our continued uh, concern for those who fled uh, 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 Iran and then fled Iraq. This is particularly relevant because uh, President Raisi of Iran died, and while some mourn his passing, he was personally responsible for the deaths of tens of thousands of Iranians, including many who are the family members of those who are in Camp Ashraf. 30,000 people apparently have died in Gaza. Perhaps half or more are civilians. Congress has provided you with 9.1 billion dollars in humanitarian aid. But there's other things going on around the world. 300,000 died in Darfur two decades ago, and now we see a new genocide in Darfur uh, where tens of thousands have been killed. Looking at the rest of Sudan, 18 million people are, face acute food insecurity. 600,000 Tigrians have died just in the last few years. And now millions of people face food insecurity in Ethiopia. In Eastern Congo, we see 7.1 million di people displaced. 1.2 million Rohingya are in camps in Bangladesh where countries have not contributed enough for their food, and therefore the food, World Food Program has reduced rations by 30%. The entire population of the Republic of Nagorno-Karabakh or Artsakh has been ethnically cleansed and now lives as refugees in Armenia. Can you commit that, and I hopefully this is a, a, a just a yes, no answer, can you commit that when you allocate that $9.1 billion of humanitarian aid, you will do so on the basis of where is the greatest need rather than which conflicts get the most publicity? Yes. Thank you. Um, people have think that the Middle East is as bad as it can possibly be. That's not true. Iran has a nuclear weapons program I'm sure my colleagues will ask you about. I want to focus on Saudi Arabia. Some think Ben, La then ben Salman's going to be a good friend to the United States, but even they must take the examples from the 1970s, where the Shah was an uh, a friend of the United States, and every weapon system that he had was in the hands of the Ayatollahs by the end of that decade. Uh, Saudi Arabia will want a nuclear cooperation agreement with the United States. Can you commit to us that you will not send up to Congress a um, nuclear uh, agreement with Saudi Arabia uh, that does not include the additional protocol and uh, uh, it does, uh, it does not meet uh, the uh, gold standard uh, that we saw in the UAE agree uh, nuclear cooperation agreement? Any uh, nuclear cooperation agreement uh, that we reach uh, will have to address all of our nonproliferation goals, and we want to make sure that, of course, we have gold standard agreements with whomever we reach these agreements. Thank you. Um, Hamas had allied organizations. The is, uh, Palestinian Islamic Jihad is the better known, but there is also the Popular Resistance Committees, the third biggest terrorist organization based in Gaza, which has not been designated a foreign terrorist organization. And I wonder if uh, uh, you can commit to either designating them as either an FTO or, a or, their, or, or otherwise as a terrorist organization, uh, such as a specially designated global terrorist, or at least come back to this committee in 30 days and tell us uh, why you haven't done so. Happy to come back to you. We're always looking to see appropriate designations to use whatever tools we can 
against terrorist organizations. They are proud participants in the killing of 1,200 of Israel, uh, Israelis on October 7th, and they've killed Americans. Uh, they, uh, 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 they meet more than all the standards. Uh,